Russia has announced that more than 10,000 troops had finished month-long drills near Ukraine and are returning to their permanent bases. This comes at a time when the West has been accusing Moscow of plotting an invasion. In a statement, Defense Ministry said that drills for Southern Military District forces had taken place in a host of Southern regions including Rostov, Krasnodar, and Crimea, which Moscow seized from Ukraine in 2014. Troops were returning to their permanent bases, standby units will be ready for the New Year's holidays. Western countries have accused Russia of positioning more than 100,000 troops near Ukraine for a possible winter invasion. Kiev has estimated that the number of Russian troops along Ukraine's border has increased from 93,000 in October to 104,000 now. Russia has denied plotting attacks against Ukraine. It says that Russia is free to move its forces on its territory, how it seems fit. A few days ago, Russia presented the West with sweeping security demands. It said that NATO must not admit new members. It also sought to bar the U.S. from establishing new bases in former Soviet republics. Tensions reached a boiling point on Wednesday. Russian President Vladimir Putin said the country would take appropriate retaliatory military steps in response to what he called West's aggressive stance. The next day, Putin took a softer stance, saying he had seen a positive reaction from the U.S. and talks will take place next month, that is next year. A senior Ukrainian security official recently said that there is no risk of an imminent Russian invasion. Russia, Ukraine, the West and NATO seem to be constantly on the edge. All the sides have been alarmed, but looks like no side is willing to take action that might further aggravate the situation. Meanwhile, Russia-backed separatists on Ukraine's east say the conflict with Kiev will continue despite President Zelensky's election promises. Russia annexed the Crimean Peninsula from Ukraine in 2014. The country backed pro-Russian separatists who seized a swathe of Donetsk and Luhansk regions in East Ukraine when Zelensky came to power in 2019. He promised to end the conflict. However, after initial confidence building measures and exchanging prisoners, tensions flared up. Russia deployed tens of thousands of troops to the northeast and south of Ukraine. It has fueled fears in Kiev and the West that Moscow was planning an attack. Как была война, так и продолжается. Зеленский обещал э, своей предвыборной кампании прекратить и закончить эту войну. Но на самом деле это оказалось просто пустые слова. Такие же пустые слова, как э, слова Порошенко. По сути, они ничего не решают. За них решает все Америка, Запад. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.